and welcome to another tutorial video in the NCAA Live Stat Programs. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the football stat program, which I have pulled up in front of you here. I have a uh, game that I've kind of already worked through some things just to try to test it out. Uh, give you guys what it would look like. Uh, if we go over here to our game tab, you can look over your edit and game information, team details, players, roster, etc. Your rosters will be filled out before. Um, with that game code, you'll get much like you would with any other NCA live stat program. Um, if you need to edit your game information, you can go here. Um, you can enter your attendance, game number, start time, venue, field. If it's neutral site, where you're playing at, then you can add uh, your officials in as well. Um, then you can go to your teams and you can edit your team, like the colors that you need, um, you know, that, that makes the most sense to you. And then you're going to add officials here. It's going to require you to put in a head coach. Um, you can put in more if you need to. Players, here's your roster. Um, you're going to need to go in and select starters, which you need 11 and 11, uh, which you can do here. And you'll just do that based on all the players you have here. I only have 11 to 12 in right now just to kind of test things out and show you what's happening, just some basic stuff. Um, the team one roster, the, the sets, you're not necessarily going to need those necessarily. Um, and then your print settings, obviously, you want to make sure you have a printer hooked up uh, so you can print out your stats and everything. And then you want to hit save and confirm, obviously, at any time. Um, so you select your starters. Um, so since I've used the quarterback, it's the same thing. You'll ask that before every play. So the quarterback here, um, we have a first down and, and 10. Uh, for the blue team, they're attack, They're on the red team's 20-yard line. You can see that here. Um, and before every play, it'll give you the snap, and you'll come here to ask for the quarterback. Uh, we're going to put seven as our quarterback right now for the blue team. It'll ask if it's coming out of the huddle. You can put huddle or no huddle, depending on how they're running. And the formation, um, we're going to say it's a shotgun snap. Then you're going to snap the ball. It's going to ask you what happens. So is it a pass or a rush attempt? Uh, for our purposes here, we'll say there's a rush. Um, then you're going to select your rusher. You can come over here. Um, it gives you the option of just about anybody on the team. Uh, it sorts it by number. So if you want to come through here and find, uh, you know, say it's a certain, like you're looking for number 10 was your rusher. I know it's listed as a tight end, but let's just say for this purpose, 10 is your rusher. You'll come here, click 10 or, you know, 10 through 19. Then you'll click on 10 as your rusher. Then I'll ask the direction. This isn't necessarily a huge thing, but it's nice to have this. And then we'll say he ran it up the gut. Um, and he was tackled. And then you're going to select your tackle over here. It's a solo tackle. Uh, we'll say it was made by number six. Um, and then you can add it in there if it's a half, um, you know, if needed. And then you're going to ask you to, it's going to ask you to spot the ball. So the LOS, that means your line of scrimmage. So that's where the ball was originally spotted, was at the 20. Um, and the line to gain would be the 10. It's a 1DL first down line. And if it's a loss, you can go back here. And if it's further back than that, you can kind of go back to here and it'll give you a couple different options as well uh, to get specific. And, and luckily you'll have a spotter. I would hope every time you use football, you would have at least one spotter, maybe two, because there's a lot of little details that you'll see with the tackler and rushes and, and a couple other things as we get closer to that. We'll say he got uh, one on the play. So we'll click 19. And down here, we'll give you the play summary number 10 rush for one yard gain uh, to the, 19 yard line and then the tacklers there in parentheses and then your next play it's going to be a snap second and nine at uh the 19 yard line so you hit next play and that'll take you right back to that same screen so you're gonna have your same quarterback uh let's say they go under center this time and you're gonna hit ball snapped uh, and let's say it's a pass we'll look at that this time so you get your direction here we're going to say it was to the left um, and then you get to come down here. So there's a couple different options of obviously what can happen. We're going to say it was complete. Um, so then you're going to select your receiver who caught the ball. We're going to go number 11 on the catch. Uh, there was not a QB hurry, but if you get that, um, you'll click on it and it'll give you your options over here to select. Uh, so we're just going to say it was completed to number 11, and then you'll get the uh, outcomes of your play. You can just end it straight up um, on the catch, but you're going to have to have a tackler the most part run out of bounds. There's a fumble, a lateral, you know, et cetera. Um, for our purposes here, we'll say he's tackled. Uh, then you're going to select your tackler, which I'm going to say was over here to number nine. We're going to say it was number three. It's going to ask you for another tackler if you need to. And then you can go over here and then you're going to want to spot your football. Let's say they got – yeah, just short of the yard to game or say the 11. So it's going to come in here, tell you your, 
Your summary, so we've got third down and one. So next play here under center, same thing that you're going to see. Uh, let's say they're going to go no huddle, trying to go quick. They're going to go under center. It's snapped. And let's say they tried to rush up the middle real quick. So we're going to select our rusher. We're going to say it was a quarterback keeper. Find that here. Seven was our quarterback. We're going to go up the middle. And it asks you for the QB scramble option. If it's a pass and he rolls out, you can click that as well. It'll give you those details. But we're going to say ran up the middle. We're going to say tackle. Uh, we're going to select our tackler as number – we're going to say – And we're going down here, we're going to say number 77 made the tackle. And then if it's a multiple tackler, you can do that. We're going to say it's a solo tackle. Then we're going to spot the ball, and we're going to say no gain. So that'll bring up the next play option, and that'll bring up fourth down and one. So they're on the 11-yard line. Uh, odds are here they're going to go for a field goal. So you'll come down here. We'll select field goal. I'll ask you for your kicker, which I believe I have marked over here. If not, you can really select anybody uh, in a game scenario. That's not what you're going to do. But uh, in this scenario, we'll say three is kicking. Our holder is going to be seven. And our long snapper, uh, we'll say our long snapper is four. Um, so you have, they'll ask for all those. So you have that when you're ready to go. Uh, ball snapped. Whenever it's ready, you'll snap it. And then outcome, if they fake it, you can put it there. If they decide to, Quick kick it, you can do that there as well. But we're going to say it's a field goal. And it's going to ask you made, missed, or if it's blocked. For our purposes, we're going to say it's made. And then it'll ask you for the time. So that's the beautiful thing with um, the football stats program is that it can tell you easily uh, the time is manageable. So we'll say, uh, you know, you put in the last time entered. So we'll put, uh, you know, this was the last time I used. So we'll put in the time that the drive was expired. And we'll say it was a quick drive. Uh, 7, 35 left on the clock, um, and then you'll hit next play, and then there'll be a kickoff. We'll roll through one of these just to show you what we're looking at here. Um, so you'll select your kicker for blue because they're kicking to red. So we'll say our kicker is three again. And then if it's an onside, you can select that, but we're not going to do that. We're going to say it's kicked off. And it's going to be a touchback. So then we'll flip it over. No time ran off, so you won't have to worry about that. Uh, so let's say they're going to get it here. Next play. They're set up at the 25. Five's our quarterback on the other side. Um, you know, let's just go ball snapped, pass. And let's say it was for a touchdown. So you'll hit touchdown there. And I'll ask for your time. I need to back up here. Last time entered was seven. So we'll hit seven. 732. Actually, let's step back here because that does not seem correct. Sorry about that. So you're going to go pass complete. No hurry. We'll select our receiver. We'll say it was 23. No QB hurry. Outcome. I'm going to go down here. We're going to say touchdown. We're going to confirm our touchdown right here. It says number five, that'll pass complete to 23. Albon for 73 yards for a touchdown. Time on the clock, 732. Uh, first down. And the next thing up here is going to be our extra point. We're going to say it's just an extra point. So we're going to select our kicker, holder, long snapper. Same things, but on the other side. Look over here. We'll say our kicker is three. Holder five, long snapper, go with 44, ball snapped, outcome, extra point kick. Then the last made, Mr. Block. We're going to say it's blocked. We're going to select our player that blocked it. We're going to say it was one. And outcome, we'll say it went out of bounds. So then it'll give you this all down here. Went out of bounds right at the three yard line. So that'll take us to the next play. And then it gives you all that time stuff that you keep running through. And that's about it. So it's six to three. Your score up here, timeouts if you need them, challenges, reviews, if there's something like that. Um, but all in all, the football program is pretty simple. Um, 
other than just a lot of details that you're going to want to put in. But when it comes to time and things like that, it's very simple, very easy to use point and click, much like all the NCAA live stat uh, programs. Very simple and easy to use. Um, thank you for joining me on this video. Have a great rest of your day.